what's up people first of all thank you so much for all the love on the last vlog it was pretty cool uh so i thought i'd do another one and uh i'm in my car right now uh trying to fix my aircon that's been broken for like three years uh so i think i know what the problem is and i'll just uh turn it around yeah so i think the problem is the fan broke i think and uh i have i have no idea about cars like nothing but I looked at some YouTube videos, couldn't really find stuff about my car, but I got a fair enough idea. So it's like, this thing here is the fan. And I pulled it out and checked it the other day, and like, it seems like, I don't know, I guess the motor's seized or something? Like, I had to really hit it hard to get the fan start going, and it wasn't even really working, so I need to replace that. And I bought the part to replace it, and I hope it fits, because like I said, I have no idea about cars. Nothing. I just sort of thought... I can fix it because I think I'm a problem solver. So, yeah, I'll uh, show you what happened. Alright, so that's it there, pulled out. I um, left it connected to the power. I'll show you when I turn it on. I got like nothing. So, from what I understand, I think that fan blows like all the cold air out and they're working. So, hopefully, I chuck in this new one and we'll see how that goes. Well, I hope I don't f this up. The only thing that I've ever really done to my cars is chucked in like subwoofers and stuff. So, hopefully, I don't break it because uh, if I do, no one's going to see this video. Okay, so the fan worked, which was sick. Uh, also, again, I don't know anything about cars. I don't know how many times I've said that. But apparently, uh, when you're changing the fan, it's good to change the uh, resistor. That's what this is. So that was the old one. And that was the one that was in the car. Um, and this is the new one. So it definitely looks better. Uh, what does this do? I think this is supposed to like sort of just... Well, from what I found out, it uh, works this, the control panel. Well, well, at least these buttons here that change the fan. So, and it's also next to the, uh, well, it's also next to the fan because it keeps it cool, I think. Um, well, from what I've read and stuff. So, I got one of these two, and probably just better to change the whole thing, and apparently you're supposed to anyway, so, just want to change them. Just if it wasn't clear before, the resistor goes here, so just make sure you scroll back in where it was. Oh, just turn it on. It is good. It is good. I fixed it. Yes. Yo, guys. There's something in my head. That. That was like a seed thing. So one problem about using my phone, I don't know where the lens is. Anyway, whatever. Um, guys, this is crazy. I haven't had aircon. I haven't had aircon in this car for like three years. Three years in like boiling hot Queensland. I've been driving to work, driving home from work with no aircon, boiling hot. Uh, sucks when I have to pick up my son from my mum's house and uh, he has to sit in the hot car till we get home. Now I have aircon and it wasn't even that hard kind of <laughs> yo it was hard because an idiot like me had honestly no idea what to do i had no clue how to fix it uh, and i just kept looking up different videos and whatever and i just didn't want to go pay for it to get done um 
yeah but that's all I really needed to do so the aircon stopped working for anyone that's got the same problem because like I couldn't find anything on my car so I've got a 2003 uh, Holden Rodeo so uh, it's a ute and it hadn't been working for ages um, just it just sort of putted out on me one day uh, none of the none of the fans worked and uh, yeah I thought maybe I had to replace the whole motor uh, turns out I just had to replace the blower motor um, so hold on I'll switch this over so you're yeah, pretty much down here you take off the glove box or if you're like tiny enough to fit in there I was not I was way too big that part down there is the blower motor so you just got to change the blower motor fan like oh actually don't listen to me I got no fucking clue but that's all I needed to do was to change that blower motor I realized that the fan wasn't really working everything else was working um, I could tell it was still like there was still gas and stuff and all that was working because if you flick it to this and you're driving really fast you can feel the cold air blowing out it's just that like the fan wasn't doing anything so I replaced the fan and while I was at it, I replaced the resistor, like what I said before. Uh, chucked them all in, and just put everything back the way it was. And now the aircon again is freezing, which I'm like so grateful for because it's probably the best aircon I've ever had in the car. Man, it's such a good feeling. Anytime I like build something or fix something or help fix something or help build something, like I feel so good about it. That was so cool. Like I, I had no idea what to do. And then I just sort of watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos and mustered up the courage to hopefully not F up my car. And I did it. And it's working and I feel fucking proud. Oh, I'm pretty much a mechanic now. If you need any like any mechanical tips or like this is pretty much now a mechanic channel. I'm just the biggest mechanic in the world. Uh, no one can touch me. I'm so good. So yeah, if you ever need like mechanic tips or how to change your uh, flux capacitor or like uh, pull out the um, stuff out of the stuff, let me know. Boom. Good as new. Except for the rubbish, it's probably can clean this car. All right. Ugh. Just for anyone that's curious. Um, yeah, so I took this off. Uh, to get this off, you just sort of squeeze the side until it like pops out. Because they've got, oh, hold on. Yeah. So you got to squeeze both of these sides. Um, they've got these little like stoppers here that stop them from falling all the way down. So you squeeze those out, and all I well, all I did was take off one, two, three, four. Took all those off, and then I ended up taking these panels off. Um, it's really easy. You sort of just got to wiggle your way under there, get like a flathead or something, and then like there's just clips. You pop them out, and then this one should just come straight out. Yo, what's up? So I'm back in my setup. Obviously, uh, it still looks the same. That's because I'm still working on it. I haven't actually got to uh, moving stuff around part, just sort of the uh, building sort of stuff with it. But um, I am back here because it's been like a week since the last clip, mostly because I wanted to test the car out and drive it for a while because if it did stuff up, uh, then I wouldn't known about it I'm sure by a week and so yeah it's been a week and it is working perfectly so I fixed it <laughs> Yay! which I'm super happy about it I've uh, taken my kids down to like the Gold Coast in it and like it ran no problems car was freezing cold they actually had to put on blankets because that's how cold it was and it is boiling hot here in Queensland so super thankful that I got that done but yeah kind of a different vlog I suppose well I guess the first one was about me doing stuff to my house so this one was just me doing stuff to my car but let me know what you guys think about it because I do enjoy doing that kind of stuff and that's the first time I've done anything to my car but I do do a lot of like around the house sort of things. But yeah, if you're interested I still have an anime video coming out and I do have my room tour that I'm going to be doing. It's just I'm doing a lot of the building stuff right now. Oh, building is a bit of a strong word, just like moving power cables and stuff like that. I'll uh, let you know when, once it's done. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll probably try to do more of these vlogs because I just like filming them and editing them. It's pretty fun for me. I suppose while I'm here, uh, happy new year, happy 2020. I uh, hope everyone smashes their goals this year. I'll definitely be trying to upload more on here. Also from the last video, I told you that we were going to the hospital to uh, give birth to my son and he is born and happy and healthy. His name is Ronan. 
And yeah, it's crazy having two kids, but it's awesome at the same time. My son is, my son, my first son Talon is so good with him. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me for this vlog. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. I'll be doing a series of vlogs and anime stuff and just whatever I can film on here because I like posting on you. But all that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm the Saiyan Satsumi. Catch you guys next time.